Are you ready to dive into the world where rarity and horsepower collide? In today's journey, we're exploring the 50 rarest pickup trucks of all time, each with a story so unique, you'll be amazed they stayed under the radar for so long. From limited editions that vanished almost as quickly as they appeared, to custom beasts that redefine what a pickup truck can be. We've scoured the globe to bring these hidden gems into the spotlight. Now let's shift gears and hit the road as we uncover the first of these extraordinary machines that have etched their marks in the annals of automotive history. Buckle up, hit the subscribe button because this ride through the echelons of rarity is about to begin. Number 1. Chevrolet SSR 2003-2006 Kicking off our list of the 50 rarest pickup trucks you've never seen, we turn back the clock to a true American oddity, the Chevrolet SSR. This isn't just any pickup, it's a retro rod that marries the heart of a muscle car with the soul of a classic. Imagine the nostalgic lines of the 1947 to 1953 Chevrolet Advanced Design pickups. Now add in a modern twist and what do you get? The SSR. First hitting the streets in 2003, this machine was nothing short of a spectacle. Its retro design captures the essence of its ancestors while its retractable hardtop offers the best of both worlds, the thrill of a convertible merged with the practicality of a pickup. Under the hood, the SSR didn't shy away from power. With a 5.3-liter V8 engine, it boasts 300 horsepower, making every ride an exhilarating experience. And with a dash from 0 to 60 in just 7 seconds, it's fast. But here's where it gets interesting. Only 24,167 units were ever built, making the SSR a rare sight on the roads today. Now, as we cruise from this modern classic to the next hidden gem in our lineup, remember the SSR is just the beginning. Number 2. Toyota Tacoma X-Runner 2005 to 2013. Shifting gears to the next marvel in our lineup, the Toyota Tacoma X-Runner, a truck that breaks all the stereotypes. Introduced between 2005 and 2013, the X-Runner redefined what it meant to be a pickup, targeting those who crave speed and precision on the pavement. This isn't your average workhorse, it's a performance beast that begs to be driven hard. The X-Runner's sporty suspension, featuring stiffer springs and shocks, transforms every turn into an exhilarating experience. Its lowered ride height not only gives it an aggressive look, but also enhances cornering capabilities, making it a standout in handling and agility. And with the added boost from a limited slip differential, it ensures superior traction, leaving competitors in the dust. The Cherry on top, a performance exhaust that doesn't just sound aggressive, it signifies the power lying under the hood. Under the sculptured exterior lies a 4.0-liter V6 engine, delivering a robust 236 horsepower. Combine that with a top speed of 115 miles per hour and an estimated sprint time of 0 to 60 in just 7.0 seconds, and you've got a truck that's as fast as it is fierce. The Toyota Tacoma X-Runner is not just a rare find, it's a thrilling ride that bridges the gap between performance cars and pickup trucks. As we cruise from the thrill of the Tacoma X-Runner to the next treasure waiting to be unveiled, it's clear that our journey through the rarest pickups is full of surprises. Number 3. Nissan Frontier Desert Runner 2000 Venturing off the beaten path, we next encounter the Nissan Frontier Desert Runner. This special edition isn't just a pickup, it's a call to adventure designed to conquer the untamed wilderness. With its roots in the 2000s, the Desert Runner was engineered for those who view every dirt road as an invitation, featuring an off-road package that includes Bilstein shocks, skid plates, and all-terrain tires, all designed to elevate off-road capability to new heights. The truck's appearance is as bold as its performance, with distinctive Desert Runner graphics and badging that declares its readiness for any challenge. And for those who prefer a hands-on approach to their adventures, the availability of a manual transmission ensures a driving experience as engaging as the trails it's meant to tackle. Powered by either a 2.4-liter I-4 or a 4.0-liter V6, depending on the year, the Desert Runner's horsepower ranges from a sturdy 143 to a robust 240. The power combined with the estimated top speed of 100 to 110 miles per hour and a 0 to 60 mile per hour time of 8.5 to 10.5 seconds means it's ready to sprint across any desert or climb any hill that lies ahead. From the retro charm of the SSR to the athletic prowess of the X-Runner and now to the rugged spirit of the Desert Runner, our exploration of rare pickups reveals the diverse capabilities these vehicles offer. What lies beyond the horizon? Stay tuned for the next hidden gem in our collection. 
From off-road beast to sleek city cruisers, our exploration is endless. Subscribe to continue the adventure with us. Number 4. Ford Ranger Splash, 1993 to 1998. Diving into the colorful era of the 90s, the Ford Ranger Splash makes a splash on our list. The special edition Ranger was Ford's nod to the younger generation, wrapping utility in a package that was impossible to ignore. With its palette of vibrant colors like teal, purple, and lime green, the Splash wasn't just a truck, it was a statement. Special graphics and striping added a playful, youthful vibe, while the interior continued the theme with unique upholstery and trim elements. Under the hood, the Splash offered a choice between a 2.3-liter i4 and a 4.0-liter V6 engine, delivering horsepower ranging from 108 to 145, depending on the configuration. While its top speed hovered around 95 to 105 miles per hour, with a 0 to 60 mile per hour time of 10 to 13 seconds, it wasn't the fastest truck out there. But for its target audience, the Splash was more about style and standing out than breaking speed records. Transitioning from the bold and playful Ford Ranger Splash, we steer into the realm of innovation with the Mazda Rotary Pickup REPU. Produced from 1974 to 1977, this pickup was a marvel of its time, housing a 1.3-liter rotary engine known for its smooth, high-revving performance. Its lightweight design not only contributed to agility, but made it a nimble force on and off the road. With just 20,000 units built, the Repu stands as a rare testament to Mazda's daring engineering. Each vehicle, from the Ford Ranger Splash to the Mazda Rotary Pickup, showcases the diversity of innovation in the world of pickup trucks. As we continue our journey, we're reminded that the allure of these vehicles isn't just in their utility, but in their unique stories and distinctive experiences they offer. Number 5. Mazda Rotary Pickup Repu 1974-1977 Next on our journey through automotive rarities is the Mazda Rotary Pickup, Repu, a marvel from 1974 to 1977 that stands alone in the pickup world thanks to its rotary engine. The 1.3-liter powerhouse offered a driving experience unlike any other. Characterized by its smooth, high-revving nature, Mazda's bold venture into using such an engine in a pickup resulted in a vehicle that was not only powerful, but also agile and nimble, owing to its lightweight design. With a production run of just 20,000 units, the Repu's rarity adds to its allure, making it a coveted piece for collectors and enthusiasts alike. It's a symbol of Mazda's innovative spirit, merging the utility of a pickup with the performance and excitement of a rotary engine. Despite its modest horsepower ranging from 65 to 100 horsepower, the Repu boasted top speeds of 90 to 100 miles per hour and could accelerate from 0 to 60 in about 10 to 13 seconds, impressive for its time. As we delve deeper into the world of rare pickups, the Mazda Rotary Pickup stands out not just for its engine, but for its contribution to the diversity and innovation in automotive history. What unique find will we discover next? The search continues. Number 6. International Harvester Scout 80-800, 1961 1961-1971 Steering off the beaten path, we discover the International Harvester Scout 80-800, a vehicle that not only pioneered the compact SUV segment from 1961 to 1971, but also captured the hearts of off-road enthusiasts worldwide. Renowned for its ruggedness and indomitable spirit, the Scout was the answer for those seeking both adventure and practicality. Available in two variants, the Scout 80 provided a nimble footprint perfect for tight trails, while the Scout 800 offered a bit more room and power for those looking for a little extra under the hood. Beyond its capability, the Scout offered versatility and removable tops, allowing drivers the freedom to choose between a hard top for protection against the elements or a soft top for open-air thrills. This adaptability, coupled with a loyal following, cements the Scout's legacy as a vehicle that was not just driven but cherished. With engine options ranging from a 2.3-liter inline-four to a 3.9-liter V8 in the Scout 800, horsepower varied from 93 to 150, providing ample power for any adventure. Despite an estimated top speed of 80 to 90 miles per hour and a leisurely 0 to 60 time of 12 to 18 seconds, the Scout's appeal lies not in its speed, but in its ability to take you anywhere. A true off-road icon. As we continue to explore the rare and remarkable in the pickup truck world, the Scout 80-800 stands as a testament to innovation and adventure. As we cruise from the power of the past to the innovation of the future, make sure you're on board. Hit subscribe and let's keep the journey going. Number 7. Subaru Baja 2003-2006 
Venturing into the realm of the unconventional, we find the Subaru Baja, a vehicle that dared to blend the worlds of a sporty coupe and a small pickup truck between 2003 and 2006. The Baja wasn't just a car or a truck, it was a statement of fun and versatility, equipped with a quirky yet practical design that included a turbo clamshell to no cover. This innovative feature offered the flexibility of an open bed for cargo while ensuring everything stayed secure on the go. True to Subaru's heritage, the Baja came with standard all-wheel drive, providing confidence on any terrain, from city streets to backcountry trails. This all-weather capability, combined with its limited production run, has since turned the Baja into a sought-after collector's item among Subaru aficionados. Under the hood, the Baja boasted a 2.5-liter turbocharged inline-four engine, delivering a robust 210 horsepower. With an estimated top speed of 125 miles per hour and the ability to sprint from 0 to 60 in just 7 seconds, the Baja offered an exhilarating driving experience that was enjoyable on the asphalt as it was on dirt paths. As we continue our exploration of the rarest pickup trucks ever made, the Subaru Baja stands out not just for its unique combination of form and function, but also for the sheer joy it brings to driving. Number 8. Ford F-150 Lightning, 1993-1995, to 1999-2004 Accelerating into the fast lane of our rare pickup truck exploration, we spotlight the Ford F-150 Lightning, a muscle truck that rewrote the rules for performance in the pickup segment. Produced in two potent periods, from 1993-1995 to and again from 1999-2004, to the Lightning took the iconic F-150 and infused it with adrenaline creating a high-performance machine that could outpace sports cars of its time. The heart of the Lightning beats with a 5.4-liter V8 engine, supercharged to deliver a staggering 345 to 380 horsepower, depending on the model year. This powerhouse enabled the Lightning to achieve breakneck acceleration with 0 to 60 mile per hour times falling between 5 and 5.8 seconds, and it could push to an estimated top speed of 130 miles per hour. More than just straight-line speed, the F-150 Lightning was equipped with sport-tuned suspension, performance brakes, and wheels, ensuring that its handling was as sharp as its acceleration. This focus on performance, combined with its limited production run, has cemented the Lightning's status as a collectible among enthusiasts. As we race through history, unearthing pickups that blend utility with exhilarating performance, the Ford F-150 Lightning stands as a towering testament to the muscle truck genre. What's next in our series? Stay tuned as we continue to uncover the rare and remarkable. Number 9. Dodge Ram SRT 10, 2004 to 2006. Next on our list is the Dodge Ram SRT 10, a remarkable fusion of a muscle car's soul and a pickup truck's utility. This vehicle shattered expectations and records, clinching the title of the world's fastest production truck with a top speed surpassing 150 miles per hour. At its core, the Ram SRT10 houses a ferocious 8.3-liter V10 engine sourced from the Dodge Viper, unleashing 500 horsepower and 522 foot-pounds of torque. The powertrain not only promised exhilarating performance, but also positioned the truck alongside some of the era's most prestigious supercars. With a limited production of just 10,046 units from 2004 to 2006, the Ram SRT10 is a rare breed, making it a highly sought-after collector's item. Its six-speed manual transmission is a nod to traditional driving enthusiasts, offering a rare and engaging experience that's becoming increasingly scarce in the modern automotive landscape. The Dodge Ram SRT10 is more than just a high-performance truck. It's a statement from Dodge, blending extreme power with practicality in an unexpected package. Its creation marked a significant moment in automotive history, showcasing American ingenuity and the enduring appeal of muscle cars, albeit in truck form. For those who cherish the thrill of driving, the Ram SRT10 represents a unique blend of speed, power, and rarity, encapsulating the spirit of adventure and the joy of the open road. From off-road beasts to sleek city cruisers, our exploration is endless. Subscribe to continue the adventure with us. Number 10. Chevrolet Colorado ZR2 Bison 2019 
The Chevrolet Colorado ZR2 Bison, a 2019 marvel built in collaboration with American Expedition Vehicles, AEV, stands as a testament to ruggedness and off-road capability. Named after the resilient North American Bison, this truck is designed to conquer any terrain, a fact highlighted in its thrilling appearance in the 2021 movie The Suicide Squad. It's a vehicle that doesn't just drive through the wilderness, it dominates it. Thanks to AEV engineered upgrades like beefed up bumpers, wider fenders, skid plates, and Multimatic DSSV dampers, ensuring superior off-road control. Equipped with either a powerful 3.6-liter V6 or an optional 2.8-liter Duramax turbo diesel engine, and boasting features such as a factory-installed worn winch and 30-inch Goodyear Wrangler Duratrac tires, the ZR2 Bison is truly in a league of its own. Its limited production run only adds to its allure among off-road enthusiasts and collectors alike. If the thought of taming the untamed with a Chevrolet Colorado ZR2 Bison excites you, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Join us as we continue to explore the world of vehicles that are built to challenge the extremes. Subscribe now and never miss out on the adventure of a lifetime. Number 11. Ford Ranchero GT, 1968-1979 Straddling the lines between muscle car and utility vehicle, the Ford Ranchero GT 1968-1979 redefined the pickup truck category with its unique blend of style and performance. With options like the powerful 428 Cobra Jet in its arsenal, it was more than just a utility vehicle. It was a muscle truck contender. Over its production years, despite tightening emission regulations, the Ranchero GT maintained its appeal through various V8 engines, delivering horsepower figures ranging from 150 to 370. Its design was a standout, combining the practicality of a truck bed with the sleek, sporty aesthetics of a coupe. This distinct appearance, complemented by trim levels that range from the standard Ranchero to the luxurious Ranchero GT and options like hood scoops and racing stripes, made it an icon of automotive innovation. With technical specs boasting up to 120 miles per hour in top speed and 0 to 60 times as quick as 7 seconds, depending on the engine and year, the Ranchero GT was a testament to Ford's engineering prowess. Its rarity and cool factor, highlighted by appearances in popular culture, have solidified the Ranchero GT status as a collectible classic, cherished for its unique position in the pickup truck landscape. Number 12. Chevrolet El Camino SS, 1968-1972 the Chevrolet El Camino SS, 1968-1972, stands out as a hallmark of American automotive history, perfectly merging muscle car power with the utility of a truck bed. The introduction of the SS model in 1968 marked a pivotal moment distinguishing it from the standard El Camino and cementing its legacy as a muscle truck. With a lineup of formidable V8 engines, including the iconic 396 cubic inch and the massive 454 cubic inch, the El Camino SS was a testament to Chevrolet's commitment to performance. This muscle truck was not just about raw power. It also boasted significant performance upgrades, such as an enhanced suspension, stiffer shocks, and front disc brakes, ensuring that it handled as well as it moved. Its design, heavily influenced by the Chevelle, featured aggressive lines and the iconic double bulge hood, with SS-specific elements like a unique grille and hood stripes that underscored its sporty essence. Across its production years, the El Camino SS was offered with engines ranging from 275 to 450 horsepower, capable of reaching up to 120 miles per hour and sprinting from 0 to 60 in 6.5 to 8.5 seconds. Despite its limited production, especially in latter years, the SS model's presence in popular culture and its distinctive blend of style and functionality have made it a sought-after classic, celebrated for its contribution to the muscle car era and its enduring impact on automobiles of design. Transitioning from classic muscle to modern marvels, don't get left behind. Subscribe now and stay ahead of the curve. Number 13. Toyota Hilux Invincible 50 2018 Marking a significant milestone in the automotive world, the Toyota Hilux Invincible 50 emerged in 2018 as a tribute to the 50th anniversary of the iconic Hilux nameplate. This limited edition model, exclusive to the United Kingdom, encapsulated the rugged essence and enduring legacy of the Hilux while introducing unique features that set it apart from its predecessors. With only 50 units produced, it stands as a rare gem in the pickup truck realm. 
The Invincible 50 was distinguished by its sleek black exterior and exclusive Invincible 50 badging, signaling its limited edition status. Performance enhancements included a raised suspension system equipped with Bilstein dampers and robust 16 by 7.5 inch ETO5 alloy wheels wrapped in BF Goodrich all-terrain tires, wings, and Arctic trucks. Branded mud flaps accentuated its adventurous spirit. Powered by a 2.4-liter turbo diesel engine delivering 148 horsepower and 310 foot-pounds of torque and paired with a 6-speed automatic transmission, the Invincible 50 was as powerful as it was stylish. Priced at 39,995 British pounds sterling, it represented a premium over the standard Invincible model. But for those lucky enough to own one, it offered an unmatched blend of performance, exclusivity, and a nod to the Hilux's rich heritage. Number 14. Nissan Titan Warrior Concept 2016 The Nissan Titan Warrior Concept revealed in 2016 was a bold statement from Nissan, offering a glimpse into the future of rugged off-road trucks. Built on the robust Titan XD platform, the Warrior Concept pushed the boundaries of design and performance, presenting a vision that was as aggressive as it was innovative. From its widened stance to the custom bodywork, every aspect of the Titan Warrior was designed to conquer the toughest terrains. The concept featured flared fenders, skid plates, and a roof-mounted spare tire, all accentuated by a striking matte black and orange color scheme. The Warrior's off-road capabilities were further enhanced by a lifted suspension, 37-inch off-road tires, and locking differentials, ensuring it could tackle any challenge thrown its way. At its heart, the Titan Warrior remained true to its roots, powered by the formidable 5.0-liter Cummins V8 turbo diesel engine paired with a heavy-duty 6-speed automatic transmission. Inside the Warrior was just as functional, with water-resistant seats, integrated coolers, and rugged floor mats designed for the adventurous spirit. While the Titan Warrior concept was never destined for production, its legacy lives on. It not only showcased Nissan's potential in the off-road segment, but also inspired elements in later Titan models. Number 15. Honda Ridgeline Black Edition 2017 The Honda Ridgeline Black Edition stands out in the truck world, not just for its distinctive style, but for its unique blend of luxury and capability. With an exterior that commands attention through its all-black grille, wheels, and mirrors, this truck is designed to turn heads. It's not all about looks, though. The Ridgeline Black Edition is packed with features that cater to both comfort and technology enthusiasts, offering heated leather seats, a moonroof, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto. Powered by a 3.5-liter V6 engine delivering 280 horsepower and coupled with a 6-speed automatic transmission, it offers a blend of power and efficiency, boasting fuel economy of 18 miles per gallon in the city and 25 miles per gallon on the highway. Its practicality is further highlighted by its towing capacity of up to 5,000 pounds and a payload capacity of up to 1,500 pounds. Remarkably, it's the first and only truck to clinch Truck of the Year from both Motor Trend and Car and & Driver in 2004, underscoring its unparalleled combination of style, comfort, and utility. The Honda Ridgeline Black Edition is truly a vehicle that stands out for its ability to tackle any adventure while ensuring the ride is as enjoyable as the destination. Number 16. Jeep Gladiator Rubicon 2020 The Jeep Gladiator Rubicon a blend of iconic Jeep Wrangler capabilities with the utility of a truck bed has rightly earned nicknames like the Beast, Brick on Wheels, and Off-Road King. Its design allows for open-air freedom with removable roof and doors, offering an unparalleled convertible truck experience. The Gladiator Rubicon doesn't just look the part. It's built to conquer any terrain, equipped with rock rails, skid plates, electronic locking differentials, and a disconnecting sway bar, ensuring its off-road prowess is unmatched. Beyond its adventurous spirit, the Gladiator Rubicon is practical, capable of towing up to 7,650 pounds and hauling 1,700 pounds in the bed. Power comes from either a 3.6-liter V6 engine, producing 285 horsepower, or a more fuel-efficient 3.0-liter turbo diesel, offering 260 horsepower, both paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy stands at 17 miles per gallon city and 22 miles per gallon highway for the V6, improving to 22 miles per gallon city and 25 miles per gallon highway for the diesel model. With a ground clearance of 11.1 inches, the Gladiator Rubicon is not just built for the off-road enthusiast, but for anyone who demands power, performance, and versatility in one package. 
As we navigate from rugged terrains to smooth highways, keep the journey alive. Hit subscribe and ride along for more discoveries. Number 17. Ford Explorer Sport Track Adrenaline 2008 to 2010. The Ford Explorer Sport Track Adrenaline, produced between 2008 and 2010, breaks the mold of the typical Explorer, transforming into an off road dominator aptly nicknamed the Off Road Explorer. This vehicle, born from a collaboration with AEV, elevates the driving experience from mundane to extraordinary, designed not for navigating parking lots, but for conquering rugged terrains. The limited edition isn't just another truck, it's a factory customized marvel. With enhancements like a 2 inch increase in ground clearance, underbody skid plates, and a winch ready bumper, the adrenaline was engineered for adventure straight off the assembly line. Power meets versatility with the option of a 308 horsepower 3.6 liter V6 or a torque rich 2.8 liter turbo diesel engine, both seamlessly integrated with an 8 speed automatic transmission, ensuring a smooth yet powerful ride across all terrains. With its production capped at just a few thousand units, the Adrenaline stands as a rare find, a unicorn among the Explorer lineup, sought after by enthusiasts and collectors alike. Its technical prowess, from the enhanced ground clearance to its robust towing capacity, not only underscores its off-road capabilities, but also cements its status as a legend in the making, a vehicle truly designed to unleash the off-road beast within. Number 18. Chevrolet K10 Snow Chaser 1984. As we leave the warmth behind, we venture into the chill of the Chevrolet K10 Snow Chaser of 1984. Built to brave the elements, this truck was a fortress against the cold, offering rugged capability and comfort. With four-wheel drive and a hearty V8 engine, the Snow Chaser was more than capable of tackling the harshest winter landscape. Its unique package included special insulation and features designed for the cold, making it a rare breed of pickup tailored for winter warriors. Under its hood, the Snow Chaser boasted a formidable 400 cubic inch 6.6 liter V8 engine capable of generating approximately 190 horsepower. This larger engine ensured that the Snow Chaser had the power to break through snow drifts and ice, embodying the spirit of resilience and adventure in the face of winter's toughest challenges. The Snow Chaser was also known for its distinct red and black paint scheme with gold graphics, a visual testament to its boldness and capability. Equipped with snow tires and four-wheel drive as standard equipment, it was truly a dedicated warrior of the winter months. Only a few were made, with estimates ranging from 150 to 300 units, making the Snow Chaser a coveted relic of Chevrolet's commitment to versatility and strength, regardless of the season. Number 19. GMC Sierra Classic Gentleman Jim, 1975 Gliding into the realm of luxury, we present the 1975 GMC Sierra Classic Gentleman Jim. This pickup wasn't just a vehicle, it was a statement of sophistication and exclusivity on wheels. With its striking black paint, complemented by gold striping, Gentleman Jim offered an unmatched level of luxury in pickups. Inside, plush carpeting and a refined dashboard set the stage for a driving experience like no other. Under the hood, Gentleman Jim housed a powerful 350 cubic inch V8 engine capable of delivering 165 horsepower, ensuring that its performance was as impressive as its appearance. Exclusive and rare, with production numbers extremely limited, owning a Gentleman Jim is a privilege enjoyed by a select few. This truck is a cherished icon, representing the pinnacle of 70s pickup luxury. Therefore, while we can't pinpoint the exact number, it's safe to say Gentleman Jim was produced in a very limited quantity, like somewhere between 1,000 and 2,500 units, making it a rare and sought-after classic truck today. Number 20. Ford Sky Ranger 1991 As we journey further, we encounter a marvel of innovation in the 1991 Ford Sky Ranger. A rare gem, this truck blended the utility of a pickup with the adventure of a convertible, making it a unique sight on the roads. The Sky Ranger wasn't just about its eye-catching convertible feature. It was equipped with a robust 4.0-liter V6 engine, delivering a spirited 160 horsepower, ensuring it had the power to match its bold aesthetics. Produced in incredibly limited numbers, the Sky Ranger's rarity adds to its allure. It wasn't an official Ford production model, but rather the result of extremely limited conversions by two companies, the American Sunroof Company, ASC, and professional auto crafters. 
the ASC is estimated to have produced 17 to 19 units, making these vehicles equipped with a 4.0-liter V6 engine, four-wheel drive, and a five-speed manual transmission especially rare. Information on Professional Auto Crafters version is even more scarce, possibly indicating even fewer units. Today, the Ford Sky Ranger remains a coveted collector's item, a symbol of a fleeting moment when Ford dared to dream differently. For those lucky enough to own or witness one, it represents a unique piece of automotive history, with each conversion standing as a testament to Ford's forward thinking and vehicle design. Number 21. Dodge Ram Rod Hall Signature Edition 1986 and 1990 in 1987, Dodge and off-road legend Rod Hall came together for an exceptional project to create a limited-edition Ram truck designed for off-road enthusiasts. This collaboration aimed to blend Hall's off-road expertise with Dodge's engineering prowess. The result was a series of trucks so rare and exclusive, with only 14 units produced in 1987, all of which were recalled due to unapproved suspension modifications. The project saw a slight resurgence in 1990, with an estimated 33 units made, further cementing their status as collector's gems. These trucks were equipped with features for the off-road adventurer, including custom suspensions, brush guards, fog lights, bed-mounted roll bars, and durable off-road tires. Despite the challenges and controversies, such as the 1987 recall, these special editions demonstrated Dodge's dedication to offering both power and off-road capability, with the 1990 models housing a 5.2-liter V8 engine that produced around 170 horsepower. Today, these vehicles are shrouded in mystery and highly sought after by collectors commanding high prices for well-preserved examples. Their rarity, coupled with the saga of their production, makes them a fascinating chapter in automotive history, embodying a deep commitment to the spirit of off-road adventure and automotive passion. Number 22. Ford F-150 Knight 1991 to 1992. The Ford F-150 Knight a standout from the early 90s, emerged in 1991 as a symbol of both style and performance. This special edition truck, distinguished by its captivating black finish, was part of Ford's Knight series, blending sheer power with unique design elements. Under the hood, the Knight featured a robust 5.0-liter V8 engine, proving it was not just about looks but also about delivering a powerful performance. Inside, the Knight Edition showcased a range of special features reflective of the era's advanced design and technology, offering drivers a comfortable and forward-thinking experience. Despite its short production run of only two years, the F-150 Knight has remained a prized collectible in Ford's illustrious history. The production numbers of the F-150 Knight add to its mystique, with estimates suggesting that only 1,500 to 2,500 units were manufactured. This limited production has elevated the Knight to a rare and coveted status among collectors and enthusiasts alike who appreciate not only its aesthetic appeal, but also its performance capabilities. Number 23. Dodge Midnight Express 1978 Delving back into the shadows, we discover the 1978 Dodge Midnight Express. Dodge's response to the demand for a truck that married velocity with nocturnal elegance. This unique creation boasted a formidable 440 cubic inch V8 engine, making its performance as notable as its starkly appealing aesthetic, embodying Dodge's dedication to combining strength with striking design. The precise horsepower of the Midnight Express remains a topic of speculation, though it's believed to have shared the 440 cubic inch V8 engine with the Warlock, potentially offering 225 horsepower. The Midnight Express is among the rarest and most coveted pickups, a true phantom of the night that remains elusive to this day. Its rarity is further shrouded in mystery due to a fire at the dealership designated for transforming Warlocks into Midnight Express trucks, a blaze that is said to have eradicated any production records. This incident has deepened the enigma surrounding the exact number of these dark, formidable trucks that were produced. Number 24. GMC Sierra California Sundancer, 1987. Stepping into the warm embrace of the West Coast, we introduce the 1987 GMC Sierra California Sundancer, a special edition truck embodying the vibrant California lifestyle. More than just a vehicle, the Sundancer was a declaration of freedom and joy, complete with a sunroof and distinctive custom graphics, powered by the reliable 5.7-liter 350-cubic-inch V8 engine that was a staple in GMC trucks during that period. 
The Sierra California Sundancer is a nostalgic nod to a time when pickups were not just about utility, but also the pleasure of driving in the sunshine. The mystery surrounding its engine's horsepower, varied reports suggest figures between 175 and 210 horsepower, adds to its allure, possibly reflecting the era's differing emission standards. What truly sets the Sundancer apart is its exclusivity. With only about 12 units ever produced, marking it as an extraordinarily rare find. Imagine one of these rare beauties gliding down a coastal road captures a moment in time where design and desire met under the golden California sky, making the Sierra California Sundancer a coveted piece of automotive history. Number 25. Dodge D100 Spirit of 76. 1976. In 1976, Dodge celebrated the nation's bicentennial with the D100 Spirit of 76, a truck that served as a moving tribute to America's 200th anniversary, proudly displaying the stars and stripes. This special edition was more than its patriotic exterior. It was a showcase of American resilience and innovation, offering a choice of two robust engines. Buyers could offer the 318 cubic inch 5.2 liter V8 engine, which produced around 140 horsepower, or the more potent 360 inch 5.9 liter V8 with about 175 horsepower, allowing for a personalized expression of freedom and patriotism on the highways. Determining the exact production numbers of the Spirit of 76 edition is a challenge, with estimates varying from 1,500 to 3,000 units due to scarce documentation. This rarity makes each existing model a prized and sought-after collectible, a tangible piece of Americana. The limited production run of the Spirit of 76 ensures its place in the pantheon of American history, symbolizing a period of national pride and celebration and continuing to evoke nostalgia and admiration among enthusiasts. Number 26. Dodge Ram 1500 Hemi GTX 2004-2005 the Dodge Ram 1500 Hemi GTX, which graced the roads in 2004 and 2005, epitomized the perfect marriage of muscle and utility thanks to its formidable 5.7-liter Hemi V8 engine. This engine, celebrated for its strength, is estimated to produce around 340 horsepower, positioning the Hemi GTX as a leader in its class for power. This robust engine not only contributed to its standing as a modern emblem of American trucking prowess, but also enabled it to achieve an impressive 0 to 60 miles per hour time of approximately 7 seconds, underscoring its exceptional performance capabilities. Beyond its sheer power, the Hemi GTX made a statement with its dynamic colors and sporty design, ensuring it stood out as a contemporary icon. This combination of aesthetic appeal and raw performance offered drivers a thrilling and commanding driving experience, encapsulating the essence of modern muscle in truck form. Produced in somewhat limited numbers, the Hemi GTX is now a sought-after model for those who value both performance pedigree and exclusivity. With an estimated production run of around 10,000 units over two model years, it retains a touch of rarity. This modern classic continues to capture attention, symbolizing high-performance trucking with its notable 0 to 60 mile per hour acceleration and horsepower figures. Number 27, Ford F-150 Freewheeling, 1978. Diving back into the vibrant era of the late 70s, the Ford F-150 Freewheeling stands out with its bold graphics and spirited design. Introduced in 1978, this truck was a colorful expression of freedom and adventure on the open road. With options for powerful V8 engines, the freewheeling package wasn't just about looks. It delivered performance that could back up its audacious appearance. It was a true symbol of the era's push for individual expression through vehicles. While specifics are scarce, it's suspected to have used the standard engines available in 1978 F-150s which ranged from a 200 cubic inch inline 6, offering around 110 horsepower, to the more formidable 460 cubic inch V8, capable of delivering up to 230 horsepower. This variety ensured that the freewheeling addition could cater to a broad spectrum of power and performance preferences. Though now a rare sight, the F-150 freewheeling edition captures the essence of 70s truck culture, a time capsule on wheels for those lucky enough to find one. The production of the freewheeling edition is uncertain and possibly very limited, with no definitive numbers found, adding to its allure and mystique among collectors and enthusiasts today. Number 28. Chevrolet C10 Big 10 
1975 to 1980. The Chevrolet Big Ten transcended being merely a variant of the C10, presenting itself as an innovative package aimed at enhancing the truck's utility. By straddling the line between half-ton and three-quarter ton trucks, the Big Ten introduced upgrades such as improved brakes, springs, tires, and a 12-bolt rear end. These enhancements not only augmented its payload and towing capabilities, but also navigated through emissions regulations cleverly. This loophole allowed it to accommodate larger engines, notably the powerful 454 cubic inch V8, marrying muscle with utility seamlessly. By 1980, the Big Ten's production concluded due to evolving emission standards, yet it has retained the status as a coveted classic, prized for its potent combination of strength and utility, offering engine options surpassing the standard C10s with horsepower ranging between 150 and 270 horsepower. The Big Ten stood out for its unparalleled performance and utility during its time. Today, locating a Big Ten in pristine condition poses a challenge, with its collectability hinging on specific configurations and its state. Despite these hurdles, a vibrant community of Chevrolet truck aficionados offers robust support. Prospective owners should be mindful of its higher fuel consumption and the typical upkeep associated with a vintage vehicle, highlighting the Big Ten's legacy as a muscular workhorse. Number 29. Jeep J10 Honcho, 1976 to 1983. The Jeep J10 Honcho, reigning supreme in off-road capability from 1976 to 1983, was the original king of rugged terrain long before the modern SUV craze. Affectionately known as the Boss, the Honcho was a masterpiece of factory customization, combining the heart of a muscle car with the soul of an off-road warrior, complete with wide fenders, aggressive tires, and striking decals. One of its most distinctive features was the optional Levi denim interior, blending style with toughness in a way that only a vehicle of this caliber could. With a mere 1,264 units ever produced, the Honcho has become a rare jewel among collectors, cherished for its unique blend of aesthetics and functionality. Under the hood, the Honcho was no slouch, offering a variety of engines from the reliable 258 cubic inch inline 6 to the more formidable V8 options, including the 360 and the elusive 401, the latter delivering up to 330 horsepower. While its top speed and 0 to 60 times were never the focus, the Honcho's real prowess lay in its ability to navigate any off road challenge with ease. Securing its legacy as an off-road legend and a testament to Jeep's enduring heritage in creating vehicles that push the boundaries of exploration and adventure. From the legends of yesterday to the icons of tomorrow, our voyage through automotive history is just heating up. Subscribe to join the expedition. Number 30. GMC Railroad Crew Cab 1962 the 1962 GMC Railroad Crew Cab emerges as a remarkable anomaly in automotive lore, specifically crafted not for the highways, but for the railways. This vehicle, with a mere production count of about six units, stands as an unparalleled example of specialized engineering, a true unicorn in the realm of vehicles. Distinctly designed for rail transport, this crew cab featured innovative retractable wheels, enabling seamless transition from road to rail for the efficient movement of railroad crews and their equipment. It wasn't just versatile, it was an industrial powerhouse, equipped with a robust V6 engine tailored for the demanding conditions of railway tracks and heavy loads. Its design was as unique as its function, featuring an extended cab and custom adaptations that made it a spectacle at every railroad crossing. The truck's technical aspects, while largely estimated, included a 305 cubic inch V6 engine producing about 165 horsepower, paired with a manual transmission. While its top speed was inconsequential due to its primary low-speed rail function, the exact payload capacity designed for crew and equipment transport highlights its utility in the railroad sector. The GMC Railroad Crew Cab of 1962 is more than just a vehicle. It's a testament to the ingenuity of specialized automotive design, embodying a blend of power, versatility, and unparalleled uniqueness. Number 31. Chevrolet Silverado Intimidator SS 2006 in 2006, Chevrolet unveiled the Silverado Intimidator SS, a high-performance truck paying homage to NASCAR legend Dale Earnhardt. Famously nicknamed the Intimidator for his daring and aggressive racing style, 
This special edition Silverado was more than just a vehicle. It was a tribute to Earnhardt's enduring legacy in the racing world, blending high-speed performance with commemorative aesthetics. Under the hood, the Intimidator SS boasted a robust 5.3-liter LS3 V8 engine, delivering a formidable 345 horsepower and 380 foot-pounds of torque, ensuring that it lived up to the legendary status of its namesake. The powertrain was not just about raw strength, it encapsulated the thrill and excitement of NASCAR in a street-legal package, offering fans and enthusiasts a piece of racing history. With its production strictly limited, the Intimidator SS has become a sought-after collectible, a tangible connection to Dale Earnhardt's storied career and racing prowess. Each unit serves as a moving tribute, not only capturing the essence of Earnhardt's spirit, but also offering a unique blend of performance and heritage. Owning an Intimidator SS means holding a piece of NASCAR history, making it a prized possession for collectors and racing fans alike, continuing to carry the legacy of the Intimidator into the future. Number 32. Ford Bigfoot Cruiser, 1987 in 1987, Ford released the Bigfoot Cruiser, a special edition that paid homage to the legendary Bigfoot monster truck. This truck was a dream for fans of the car-crushing giant, featuring distinctive graphics and modifications inspired by the original monster. Under the hood, it offered a choice between the robust 6.9-liter V8 and the mighty 7.5-liter V8 engines. Power, an essential factor in any truck's allure, ranged from a modest 105 horsepower for the base 4.9 liter I6 to an impressive 240 horsepower for the potent 7.5 liter V8. Equipped with special suspension and oversized tires, the Bigfoot Cruiser was designed to stand out, a tribute to the truck that sparked a global fascination with monster trucks. Though production was extremely limited, the Bigfoot Cruiser remains a beloved piece of automotive and monster truck history, a rare find that captures the imagination of enthusiasts and collectors alike. Number 33. GMC Sierra Indy 500 1977 in 1977, the GMC Sierra Indy 500 edition roared onto the scene, commemorating the legendary Indianapolis 500 race. This special edition truck boasted unique decals and a design inspired by the speed and excitement of IndyCar racing. With performance enhancements and a design that echoed the thrill of the racetrack, the Sierra Indy 500 was a celebration of motorsport, a vehicle that carried the spirit of competition into every drive. As a tribute to one of the most iconic races in motorsport, the GMC Sierra Indy 500 remains a sought-after collector's item, a piece of racing history preserved on four wheels. Number 34. Chevrolet S10 EV, 1997-1998 Turning the page to a new chapter in automotive innovation, the Chevrolet S10 EV emerged in 1997 as one of the first electric pickups from a major manufacturer. This groundbreaking vehicle was Chevrolet's foray into the future of electric mobility. The electric vehicle featured a 55-horsepower AC propulsion, AC34 motor, followed by an upgrade to 80 horsepower in 1998 with the UQM Technologies Power Phase AC motor. Powered by an electric motor and available with lead-acid or nickel-metal hydrate batteries, the S10 EV was ahead of its time, offering a glimpse into a world where pickups could be both powerful and environmentally friendly. With only a limited number produced and sold primarily to fleets, the S10 EV is a rare find today, a symbol of Chevrolet's early commitment to electric vehicles and a precursor to the EV revolution. Number 35. Dodge Gene Machine 1978. In 1978, the Dodge Gene Machine offered a unique twist on the pickup truck formula. Blending fashion and function in an unforgettable package, this special edition was a product of its time, featuring denim-inspired interiors and a distinctive exterior design. Under the hood, this remarkable creation likely utilized the standard engines available on the base Ram Charger or D100 in the year 1978. These engine options ranged from a 318 cubic inch V8 to a potent 440 cubic inch V8. Depending on the engine chosen, the horsepower output could vary significantly, spanning from 140 to 225 horsepower. Production estimates suggest that only a mere 17 to 19 units of this unique vehicle were ever built, rendering it an exceptionally scarce and highly valuable automotive gem in today's collector's market. 
Today, the Gene Machine is a rare and cherished find, a quirky chapter in Dodge's history that continues to delight collectors and enthusiasts with its blend of style and substance. Number 36. GMC Sierra Mule, 1979 Our journey through the rarest American pickup trucks continues. We arrive at the 1979 GMC Sierra Mule. A vehicle shrouded in mystery and intrigue was reportedly powered by a potent 454 cubic inch, 7.4 liter V8 engine, delivering an impressive 230 horsepower. However, when it comes to production numbers, the story becomes even more enigmatic. No definitive figures exist, leaving us with more questions than answers. With its limited production run, the Sierra Mule is a rare gem in the world of pickup trucks, a symbol of GMC's commitment to quality and versatility, and a fitting conclusion to our exploration of these mechanical marvels. Number 37. Dodge D100. The Dude. 1970-1971. First on our journey is the 1970-1971 Dodge D100 The Dude, a striking emblem of Dodge foray into combining muscle with utility. The Dude stands out with its audacious striping and special decals, a beacon of style in the world of pickups. Beneath the hood, the Dude was powered by a potent 383 cubic inch V8 engine, delivering up to 335 horsepower. This special trim package was not just about aesthetics, it offered a glimpse into the era's bold automotive ambitions. Produced in limited numbers, the Dude remains a coveted rarity, with only a select few gracing the roads today. Its legacy is a testament to time when pickups started to blend work with play, muscle with style. Of these, only a small fraction, estimated at 1500 to 2000 were sold as the Dude trim package. This rarity makes them a particularly coveted piece of automotive history today, embodying the spirit of innovation and style of their time. Number 38. Chevrolet Cameo Carrier, 1955-1958 The Chevrolet Cameo Carrier, produced between 1955 and 1958, was a trailblazer merging the utility of a pickup with the aesthetics and comfort typically found in passenger cars. This innovative sport truck foreshadowed the emergence of modern utility vehicles like the Ford Ranchero and Chevy El Camino, introducing a concept that was revolutionary for its time. Distinguishing itself with a refined, car-like design, the Cameo Carrier moved away from the conventional pickup look, showcasing sleek lines reminiscent of the Chevy Bel Air, but with the practicality of a pickup bed. This fusion of style and function was further accentuated by the use of fiberglass panels on the bed, a forward-thinking choice that not only enhanced the appearance, but also set it apart from the standard steel-bodied trucks. The Cameo Carrier's exclusivity is underscored by its limited production numbers, with just about 2,224 units made in its debut year, making it a prized find for collectors. It featured a range of engine options, the most prevailing being the 265 cubic inch V8 engine, which delivered 145 horsepower. Despite its modest top speed of approximately 85 miles per hour and a 0 to 60 mile per hour time of around 15 seconds, the Cameo Carrier was celebrated for its groundbreaking design and remains a coveted classic, a testament to Chevrolet's bold foray into blending sportiness with utility. Today, owning a Cameo Carrier means holding a significant slice of automotive innovation, a nod to when Chevrolet dared to dream differently. Number 39 Ford F1 Panel Truck, 1948-1952 The 1948-1952 Ford F1 Panel Truck, dubbed Bonus Built for its advanced design, marked a pivotal moment in automotive history, initiating the iconic Ford F-Series lineage that still leads the truck market. Unlike its contemporaries, the F1 panel truck featured a car-based chassis and independent front suspension, blending the utility of a commercial vehicle with the comfort and handling of a passenger car. This versatility extended beyond its primary function, with the truck serving various roles from delivery services to custom conversions like campers and food trucks, thanks to its adaptable design. Ford's F1 panel truck offered customization options unusual for its time, including two-tone paint schemes, chrome trim, and even a sunroof, allowing for personalization. Under the hood, 
It housed either an inline six or a flathead V8 engine, delivering between 95 and 100 horsepower, paired with a standard three-speed manual transmission and achieving top speeds of around 65 to 70 miles per hour. With a cargo capacity of 110 cubic feet, it was not just a vehicle, but a symbol of post-war America's resilience and entrepreneurial spirit, influencing generations of Ford trucks with its focus on comfort, performance, and adaptability. Number 40. Dodge Little Red Express, 1978-1979 The Dodge Little Red Express, emerging in 1978-1979, was not just a pickup, but a landmark in automotive speed, famously becoming the fastest American production car from 0 to 100 miles per hour in 1978. This loophole rocket cleverly bypassed emissions regulations with a heavily modified 360 V8 engine, boasting an explosive 225 horsepower, catapulting it into the spotlight not only for its speed, but also as a subject of environmental controversy. This truck was more than just its quarter-mile capabilities. Where it shone with a remarkable time of 15.71 seconds, it was a collector's dream. With merely around 5,100 units crafted, the Little Red Express is a prized possession embodying the adventurous spirit of its era. Despite its impressive performance, including a top speed of 90 to 95 miles per hour and a swift 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6.4 seconds, its fuel efficiency was notably low, reflecting its focus on power over economy. Beyond its mechanical prowess, the Little Red Express stood out with its bold design, complete with a hood scoop, side stripes, and unique decals, capturing the essence of American muscle and truck form. Today, it remains a symbol of innovation and the spirit of pushing automotive boundaries, a cherished reminder of a time when speed and style perfectly coalesced. Number 41. International Harvester Travel All, 1953-1975 the International Harvester Travel All, active from 1953 to 1975, was an off-roader in sheep's clothing, pioneering the SUV concept long before it became a staple on American roads. This vehicle wasn't just about transporting families, it was about embarking on adventures, as evidenced by its role in carrying the iconic shark for the movie Jaws and its victory in the 1959 Pikes Peak Hill Climb, showcasing its unexpected and formidable off-road capabilities. Dubbed the precursor to the modern SUVs, the Travel All was a versatile beast, offering the ruggedness of a truck with the comfort of a passenger car and seating for up to eight. It wasn't just built for the smooth pavement, but thrived on untamed terrains thanks to its available four-wheel drive and robust construction. Over its four generations, the Travel All evolved, offering various body styles, engine options, and even luxury features like sunroofs and air conditioning, making it a vehicle for all seasons and reasons. Under the hood, it ranged from efficient inline sixes to powerful V8s, producing between 90 to 250 horsepower. While manual transmissions were standard, automatics later provided added convenience. Despite its utilitarian charm, the Travel All stood out for its hidden power and cargo capacity, making it the ultimate adventurer's wagon before the term SUV became a household name. With its rich history and multifaceted utility, the Travel All remains a fascinating chapter in automotive evolution, embodying the spirit of adventure that predates the SUV craze. Number 42, Studebaker Transtar 1956-1958 The Studebaker Transtar 1956-1958 emerged as a beacon of innovation and style in the mid-20th century truck market. Immortalized by its appearance in the iconic film Back to the Future, unlike its contemporaries, the Transtar broke free from the era's conventional design norms, boasting a bold aesthetic with its curved windshield, chrome finishes, and an optional two-tone paint scheme. It wasn't just a feast for the eyes. The Transtar melded form with function, offering features uncommon in pickup trucks of its time, such as interior heater, power steering, and a sunroof, enhancing both comfort and driving pleasure. With configurations ranging from half-ton to two-ton capacities, the Transtar was as versatile as it was visually appealing, catering to a broad spectrum of users from personal to commercial. However, despite its groundbreaking design and utility, the Transtar's production was short-lived due to Studebaker's financial difficulties, rendering it a rare find and a coveted classic among today's collectors. 
Under the hood, the Transtar hosted a variety of powertrains, from the robust inline six engines to potent V8s, offering horsepower figures from 132 to 253. The most popular engine choices were the 224 cubic inch six cylinder and the potent 289 cubic inch V8, paired with either a standard three speed manual or an optional four speed manual or automatic transmission. Performance was varied by model and engine with top speeds estimated between 70 and 80 miles per hour and a 0 to 60 mile per hour time around 10 to 15 seconds, depending on the specific setup. The Studebaker Transtar remains a testament to a time when trucks dared to be different, blending unique style with practicality and performance. As we drift from vintage charm to futuristic design, the adventure never stops. Make sure you subscribe for the full experience. Number 43. Ford F-250 Super Chief Concept, 2006 The Ford F-250 Super Chief Concept unveiled in 2006 wasn't just another concept truck. It was Ford's ambitious exploration into the future of alternative fuels. Named after a luxurious passenger train, the Super Chief stood out with its ability to run on gasoline, E85 ethanol, or hydrogen, showcasing an unparalleled versatility in fuel options. This tri-fuel system, a pioneering move at the time, positioned the Super Chief as a potential linchpin in the evolution of heavy-duty trucks towards more sustainable energy sources. The truck's capabilities didn't end with its innovative fuel system. Equipped with a supercharged 5.4-liter V10 engine, the Super Chief delivered an impressive 550 horsepower, marrying eco-friendliness with raw power and performance. Its design also broke new ground, featuring suicide doors, a retractable bed cover, and an interior that looks straight out of the future, complete with advanced displays and controls. Despite its potential as a game-changer in both performance and fuel efficiency, the Super Chief remained a concept never reaching production. However, its legacy lives on. It demonstrated the feasibility of tri-fuel technology and set, a bar for our, and set a high bar for design and performance, influencing the direction of truck development and alternative fuel use in the automotive industry. With a top speed of around 100 miles per hour and a varying fuel efficiency based on the fuel used, the Super Chief remains a symbol of what could have been, inspiring ongoing innovation in the quest for powerful, efficient, and environmentally friendly vehicles. Number 44. Toyota Tundra TRD Supercharged 2007-2015 The Toyota Tundra TRD Supercharged, produced between 2007 and 2015, redefined the half-ton pickup segment with a blend of unmatched power and distinctive style. Known affectionately as Tundra Struct, this model wasn't just another Tundra, it was a powerhouse on wheels, thanks to its supercharged engine and a style icon with its aggressive black accents, dual exhaust system, and distinctive wheels. Its on-screen appearance in hits like Fast and Furious and the Dukes of Hazard further cemented its status as a Hollywood favorite, showcasing its muscle and charisma. At the heart of this beast lay an Eton TVS root-type supercharger, amplifying the 5.7-liter V8 engine to an astonishing 504 horsepower and 550 foot-pounds of torque. This immense power enabled not just spirited acceleration, but also significant towing and hauling capabilities, making it a versatile performer. However, the TRD Supercharged Tundra was more than just a brute. It was a carefully crafted package. Limited production numbers each year added to its allure, transforming it into a coveted collectible among truck enthusiasts. Beyond its muscular prowess, the TRD Supercharged Tundra was equipped with a performance-tuned suspension, upgraded brakes, and a plush interior, ensuring it was comfortable on a long haul as it was capable on a worksite. With a six-speed automatic transmission and a standard four-wheel drive, it boasted a towing capacity of up to 10,000 pounds. Despite its thirst for fuel, with an average of 13 to 15 miles per gallon, the Tundra TRD Supercharged remains a legend for its blend of speed power, and style, marking a significant chapter in the evolution of half-ton pickup trucks. Number 45. GMC Cyclone, 1991 The GMC Cyclone, introduced in 1991, redefined the concept of a pickup truck with its unparalleled performance, quickly earning the monikers Pocket Rocket and Godzilla in a teacup. 
As one of the quickest production trucks of its time, the Cyclone boasted abilities that allowed it to outpace many sports cars, making it a legend in automotive history. Its exclusivity is underscored by its limited production run of just 2,995 units, elevating the Cyclone to collector's item status. Its cultural impact was further solidified with a memorable appearance in the blockbuster Terminator 2 Judgment Day driven by the menacing T-1000. The Cyclone was a pioneer, merging the utility of a pickup with the soul of a muscle car, setting the stage for future performance-oriented trucks. At its heart was a turbocharged 4.3-liter V6 engine that produced an impressive 280 horsepower and 350 foot-pounds of torque, ensuring it held the title of the fastest production truck in 1991. This power was complemented by an innovative all-wheel drive system, providing exceptional traction and handling in various driving conditions. Technical prowess aside, the Cyclone was more than just its specifications. It represented a bold step forward in truck design, offering a top speed of approximately 130 miles per hour and achieving 0 to 60 miles per hour in a mere 4.3 seconds. While fuel economy was not its forte, the Cyclone remains a significant figure in the evolution of the performance truck, combining speed, power, and rarity into a compact yet formidable package. Number 46. Chevrolet 3100 Pickup 1947 to 1953. The Chevrolet 3100 pickup, spanning from 1947 to 1953, emerged as a beacon of post war America, encapsulating the nation's newfound optimism and drive for innovation. Dubbed Advanced Design, the 3100 stood out with its sleek lines and modern features, setting a new standard for pickup truck aesthetics. Its stylish design, not only made it a favorite among American youth, but also a Hollywood icon, featuring in classic films and symbolizing freedom and rebellion. In the wake of World War II, the 3100 represented more than just transportation. It symbolized America's resilience and ambition. Beyond its good looks, the truck offered a blend of functionality and comfort uncommon in its day. Its spacious cabin and optional amenities like heating and radio appealed to a wide audience, from hardworking farmers to adventurous families. The 3100's versatility knew no bounds, with options catering to various needs and preferences. Powered mainly by a robust inline-six engine, it delivered between 90 to 105 horsepower, with later models introducing a 135 horsepower V8 for those desiring extra power. Those not built for speed, with top speeds of 65 to 70 miles per hour and 0 to 60 times around 20 to 25 seconds, the 3100 excelled in practicality. It offered different bed sizes, ensuring ample cargo space for any task at hand. The post-war workhorse, with its unexpected charm and versatility, remains a cherished classic embodying the spirit of a nation ready to move forward. Number 47. Ford F-150 Harley-Davidson 2000 to 2012. The Ford F-150 Harley-Davidson edition 2000 to 2012 represented an iconic alliance between two American giants, marrying the robust utility of the F-150 with the unmistakable style of Harley-Davidson. This special edition truck transcended traditional boundaries, offering a unique mix of muscle, chrome, and roaring engines that appealed to enthusiasts of both brands. Highlighted by its limited edition run, which ended in 2012, these trucks have since become coveted collectibles, celebrated for their blend of performance and aesthetics. Emphasizing more than just brute strength, the F-150 Harley-Davidson distinguished itself with striking black and chrome accents, Harley logos, and design cues that echoed the motorcycle brand's heritage. Select models boasted performance enhancements, such as advanced suspensions, beefier wheels, and deeper exhaust notes, enhancing their road presence. Over its production years, the truck evolved, introducing new design features and options to maintain its allure among fans. Under the hood, the F-150 Harley-Davidson offered a range of V8 engines, from the 4.6-liter Triton to the supercharged 5.4-liter V8 in later models, with horsepower figures spanning from 231 to an exhilarating 450, 
Paired with a standard 4-speed automatic transmission, later upgraded to a 5-speed, the truck achieved top speeds between 90 to 110 miles per hour and could accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in as little as 5.4 seconds for the most potent versions. This marriage of muscle and chrome stands as a testament to the enduring appeal of two iconic American brands, creating the legacy that continues to captivate Ford and Harley-Davidson fans alike. Number 48. International CXT 2004-2008 The International CXT, produced from 2004 to 2008, challenged traditional pickup truck norms by incorporating the robust framework of a heavy-duty commercial truck with the unexpected luxury and features of a personal vehicle. Not just another pickup, the CXT boasted advanced amenities like rear view cameras and in dash navigation alongside optional sunroofs that lent it an air of luxury uncommon in its class. Designed to merge the worlds of commercial and personal use vehicles, the CXT combined formidable strength with creature comforts such as plush seating and optional leather interiors, presenting a unique proposition in the automotive market. Its distinctive boxy silhouette, underscored by bold chrome accents and the optional sunroof, conveyed a rugged yet refined aesthetic. Despite its ambition and distinctive offering, the CXT's production was brief, making it a rare find in today's market and a coveted piece among collectors and enthusiasts who value rarity and uniqueness in vehicles. Its appearance in the video game driver Parallel Lines further highlighted its cultural footprint, albeit in a digital landscape. At its core, the CXT was powered by a robust 6.0-liter turbo diesel V8 engine, capable of 230 horsepower and an impressive 520 foot-pounds of torque, with some variants offering a gasoline V8. Equipped with a 5-speed automatic transmission and able to tow up to 16,500 pounds, its utility was undeniable, though its fuel efficiency, estimated at 15 to 20 miles per gallon, reflected its commercial truck heritage. The International CXT remains a fascinating experiment in blending utility with luxury, marking a bold, albeit short-lived chapter in pickup truck evolution. Number 49. Hudson Big Boy Cab Pickup 1946 to 1947 The Big Boy Cab Pickup, a pioneering creation that not only transcended its era, but also showcased the talents of one of America's first female automotive designers, Betty Thatcher. This unique vehicle, known as Bonus Built, for its innovative design and features, made a notable appearance in the classic film The Egg and I, highlighting its cultural and cinematic significance. This vehicle blurred the traditional lines between car and truck, offering the sleek aesthetics and comfort of a car with the practical utility and cargo space of a truck. It was a precursor to the car-truck fusion concept, setting the stage decades before the Ford Ranchero and the Chevrolet El Camino would enter the scene. Despite its forward-thinking design and versatility, the big boy cab pickup saw a limited production run of just 3,200 units over two years, making it a rare gem in today's collector's market. Under the hood, it boasted Hudson's reliable L-head inline-six engines, delivering either 85 or 92 horsepower, paired with a standard three-speed manual transmission. While it offered a top speed of 65 to 70 miles per hour, its cargo capacity was more modest compared to dedicated pickups, yet, yet sufficient for various needs. The big boy cab pickup featured attractive two-tone paint options, chrome trim, and comfortable bench seats emphasizing its car-like appeal. Though it may not have been a commercial hit, the big boy cab pickup left an indelible mark on automotive design, influencing future generations of trucks and continuing to captivate collectors and enthusiasts with its story of innovation and unique blend of style and practicality. Number 50. Ford F-150 SVT Raptor 2010-2014-2017 the Ford F-150 SVT Raptor, emerging in 2010 and revamped from 2017 onwards, represents the pinnacle of off-road performance. Inspired by the agility of the Velociraptors from the iconic Jurassic Park, developed by Ford's special vehicles team, SVT, this truck transcends its concept origins, combining unparalleled off-road capabilities with the allure of Hollywood, featuring alongside Dwayne The Rock Johnson in Fast and Furious 8. 
Distinguished by its off-road readiness, the Raptor boasts long travel suspension, Fox Racing shocks, and robust tires, ensuring mastery over challenging terrains. Beyond the dirt, it impresses on asphalt with potent engine options and advanced brakes, showcasing remarkable versatility. The Raptor draws inspiration from muscle cars, melding raw power with aggressive styling. Engine choices have evolved from the initial 6.2-liter V8, offering 411 horsepower, to the more recent 3.5-liter EcoBoost V6, boosting output to 450 horsepower. This progression enhances both speed and agility, with the Raptor achieving a 0 to 60 mph in as quick as 4.5 seconds in the newer models. As it continues to evolve, the Raptor solidifies its status among enthusiasts, embodying the spirit of adventure and performance. Its blend of technological advancements, power, and off-road prowess marks it as an icon in the truck world, appealing to those who demand excellence in every terrain. Exploring these iconic trucks has taken us on a thrilling ride through automotive evolution, showcasing everything from classic charm to cutting-edge innovation. Ready for more discoveries and the stories behind legendary vehicles? Hit subscribe and join us on this continuous journey where every click fuels a new adventure. Your next ride into the world of extraordinary trucks is just a subscription away.